At gunpoint, Ottawa police detained protesters from a Canadian truck convoy. Hundreds of anti-vaccine protesters were detained at gunpoint by Ottawa police on Saturday in an attempt to put a stop to the demonstrations that have been raging for weeks in the Canadian capital. A significant part of downtown Ottawa was cleared of demonstrators' parked vehicles and other obstructions while riot police used batons and guns to clear the area. Shame on you, was screamed by anti-vaccine campaigners as police arrested them. You must go, said the tape, which was played to the gathering in both French and English. It is a crime to be located in the designated area. At least 100 individuals were detained, including protesters who had smoke grenades and pyrotechnics in their possession, according to authorities, who towed 21 cars. There are no more protests on Wellington Street, which runs close Parliament and has been the focus of the demonstrations. According to a statement from the Freedom Convoy, protesters were escorting themselves out of the area to prevent more violence. More than half the movement's long-haul trucks drove off as riot police arrived, leaving behind just a few abandoned cars in the region that had to be towed trucked away. Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau and his administration's handling of the flu epidemic have come under fire since the arrests were made, and this current escalation in the anti-vaccine protest campaign is the most significant yet. A mounted police force was sent in Friday amid a standoff between policemen and demonstrators, and the Prime Minister and Ontario both proclaimed states of emergency. The police claim that the trucks pushed them and defied instructions to disperse, while protesters claim that at least one person was trampled by a horse during the protests. The trucker convoy showed cracks in Ottawa's political fabric that will likely not go away. Concerns regarding civil rights continue to be raised in Parliament as the government invokes the Emergencies Act for the first time ever, 